Hello everybody and welcome to Slay the Spire, playing as a silent on Ascension 7, this is Act 3 vs. Time Eater. Uh, at the start of the run, Meow gave us Choke, so we started playing around that, Masterful Stab, Terror, Dark Shackles, basically zero cost stuff, which led us down a shivy route, um, so with the accuracy here, we do have some scaling damage here, Crippling Cloud, got some good defensive tools, Adrenaline, got Dolly's Mirrored, so we have some decent card draw and energy. And then some uh, more loss of strength stuff along with the Dark Shackles up here to help offset the Philosopher's Stone. And then just some more card drawn. So pretty, pretty powerful ro rounded deck. Uh, we did pick this up in the first act and that in the second. We got the Gremlin Horn and Kunai, so we have Scaling Damage, Scaling Block. Seem to be in pretty decent shape, I would say. Alright, so one, two, one, two, here's three and three. We do have all, over 300 gold, and this start gives us pretty much the ability to go anywhere we want on the map, so let's do that and get this early shop here. Let's see what that has for us. Okay, let's choke adrenaline. Two, three, we can do this here. Now we need to block 12, and the best we can do is nine. And that's fine. Could just throw him the legs away for an extra three damage. Can't say I see the point in that. All right, we'll just take our legs here. That guy's scary, but luckily we can say bang, bang. Oh, that triggers Gremlin Horn. Okay. That's a bit surprising to me because it doesn't actually uh, trigger, like, fatal blow type stuff. Alright, so let's do this, and then this gives us our kunai value. Where does that leave us? We have 22. Okay, so this gives us full block here and here. And then we can just malaise. There we go. Keep the deck, keep the hand size under control. I did forget to mention concentrate at the start of the act. It's something I picked up just because of Runic Pyramid. Alright, so let's do Adrenaline first, of course. Makes. This is looking like a setup turn. Get that down, that down, and that. Uh, he's already got plenty of weakness, so we can do this. Um, we can acrobatics because we have the concentrate. Okay. So we can concentrate, throw away this and this. Uh, throwing that away because we got the event that upgraded strikes and defense, so this is the same. There we go. Nice. Well set up. As long as we maintain control of the fight, like, we get stronger and stronger. Uh, I don't know if these guys do, or... Oh no, that's just from Philosopher's Stone, so no, they don't scale. Okay, um, let's see, these do 10 each, and this does 6, so this is perfect right here. We'll get the proactive kill for the uh, Grumman Horn. And then we can say, boom, boom. There's that. And that, and that. And then that, and we'll just go ahead and throw that on there. Extend the week, not that it's going to last that long. Okay, so a bit of a slow fight, but it goes to show how capable we are of just staying on top of everything. Controlling the fight. Swift potion. Okay. I don't know that our card draw is such that we take a second slice. We have two adrenaline, which exhausts, and then acrobatics. I can see it going both ways. Deck's already quite large, though, so I'm going to skip. Alright, what we got here? We have... 
orange pellets and pen nib. Our max HP is really good, so I don't know that we need this. I don't know that we need this. Let's see, we currently have one, two, three, just the three powers, I think. Looks to be that way. every turn, so we will are persistent. Goes both ways. Um, I don't think we add mayhem just because we have the orange pellets. I'm not saying orange pellets is the reason not to add that. I'm saying I don't think we add that just because we have this playing top card. Um, I don't know how much that hurts us, but um, we don't want to spend all of our energy on setting up from one turn to the next. Obviously, well laid plans is meaningless when we have Runic Pyramid. Blur would give our deck something that we can't already do, but with the upgrades that we've already uh, enjoyed, Blur is pretty weak by itself. And with the Pyramid, we could stack up. So I don't think we need the Blur, even though it's something normally I jump on at this part of a silent run. Two normalities, huh? And look at that, we have two shops here. Very nice. We get 12 max HP here. <laughs> Very worth it. We immediately remove the one. Okay, what does Aura Rehab for us? Backflip plus. Corpse Explosion, definitely. That's some much needed AoE. Slice Plus. I'll tell you what, if we grab Backfit Plus, that helps justify the Slice Plus, I think. Do we take another Noxious Fumes Plus? Just because we have... I had a run that I published recently where I even had Sneko Skull, and I had pointed out how having the second Noxious Fumes, everything gets applied at once, so the Sneko Skull only dipped once, and somebody had left a comment making the case that the second Noxious Fumes is actually better than the first. I don't know that I agree with that. Um, they were talking, I think, if I remember correctly, it was even in a non-Sneko Skull environment. But let's go ahead and take that because we have the orange pellets. Oops. I don't think that we're done here. I do want the smooth stone, even though we have kunai. Because we just have a lot of money here, so why not? That's probably good enough. Do we take the potion belt? Yes. Yes, because we have the orange pellets. I didn't even think about this. Okay. So let's take this and this and this. There we go. That's how you play with the orange pellets. All right. We still have plenty of gold for the next shop as well. Nice. Nice that we got corpse explosion right away. Let's see how much damage we can do to this guy right now. Because normally in a situation like this, I'd want to put Corpse Explosion on one of the spikers. But obviously, the, as far as our front loaded damage, we're going to be working on this guy. Um, I guess it doesn't matter because Dark Shackles and Orc Halcom, so we can hold on to the leg sweep as far as doing actual damage to one of these guys, which is what I was one of the things I was considering. Alright, so let's do this. And then 32 divides into 4 very evenly. So we can do all of this. Let's 
Damn, it would take all of our zeros. But that's okay. We get it done. Yep. <laughs> Off by one. Okay. That's fine. Oh, yeah, gremlin horn. Wow, this got way better. Way, way, way better. Look at that. We're really leaning into the, the poison on this guy, so that worked out very well. <laughs> horn gives us adrenaline, adrenaline gives us energy, and oh, man, that was great. That was fantastic. Hmm. I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can to get the fight over quicker. There we go. Yep, and now all we gotta do is pass our turn. And we got some pendant value, which was probably superfluous, but. There we go. Caltrops Plus punishes beat, punishes the heart very well. So let's do that. Okay, we didn't get burdened with normality that fight. Very pleased to see that. Let's get that other normality out of here. Bottled Flame. Could bottle the Masterful Stab, make sure we always get some value out of it. I don't think that's a bad idea. And we can take this, so we're going to be very well armored against status effects, period. Do we take another Crippling Cloud? Alright. So we made very, very, very good use of that money. Uh-oh. We could you lose a strike plus, I suppose. We are leaning a lot more into poison. We could lose a terror plus. I don't want to, but we could. Alright. Lose a strike plus then, I guess. That's cool. Well, uh, deck was getting bloated, so... Oops. What have we here? Another card removal. Wow. Um. I guess we could go with Strike Plus. We picked up the Slice Plus. Right, we got the Dagger Throw along the way. We're leaning more into Poison. We have lots of Shiv stuff. Yeah, I don't think this detracts from Kunai. Um, we got Kunai and we got... <laughs> or we could, just, we could just remove the Masterful Stab because of the likelihood that we're going to get value out of that. I don't even see it in the list. Why is that? Is it, if it's bottled, you can't remove it? Is that true? I didn't know that. It's not appearing in this list. Wow. Okay. Learn, learn something here. Okay. Let's try that out. Alright. So let's go ahead and... Oh, loss of the ink bottle. We have lots and lots of relics, that's why I was willing to just get our keys in order rather than taking on this elite. Still have this one more elite here. Okay, this fight should go a lot better now that we have the corpse explosion. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 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 Okay.
25% off of 17 is 5, the way the game works. So this is 10 block. Yeah. So, playing the Defend Plus would have just meant we could have played the Noxious Fumes. Oh yeah, and I totally forgot. So it's even better than that. Cool. So his max HP is 44. He has 44. So yeah, if we kill them this turn, it's just over. And it looks like we have lots of opportunities to do exactly that. There we go. And Pennib's live now. Very nice. Smoke bomb completes the belt. I don't think another blade dance is a good idea, because all we have left boss-wise would punish us for that. <laughs> Panache, huh? On our... Yeah, we have Slice and Adrenaline and shiv stuff. Are we consistently enough playing five cards per turn? Yes. Does that mean we take that? Stab works out very well with the pen nib. Choke's not bad either, so. We can do this first for the slow here. done order slightly different if there came a point in time where I decided yes let's play cloak and dagger playing that first would have added to the slow so just want to point that out so nobody thinks I, that that's lost on me you know when I did the whole potion belt thing I totally forgot about the ornithopter so the fact that we're taking damage and the fact that the, this gave us 12 I mean we're doing great as far as all that goes let's get this down and then... Let's play this first to, for the slow buff. We'll do that for the... whoops. Wow, look at that. 27 damage. Nice. Now I'm just going to do this. There we go. Okay. It's a setup turn. I think I want to continue on the setup path, actually. Uh, our hand was getting big, so that was my main motivation there. It's going to be weak for the rest of the fight, so that's pretty good. Okay, panache. Adrenaline. Corpse explosion. Acrobatics. I'm trying to play all the non-attacks first. Um... Okay. 
Wow, we got a lot of mana attacks played first. Unfortunately, the kunai is not going to be able to get value this turn. Alright. Oops, bumped the mic. Sorry about that. Okay. We have a full hand here. So let's do this first. And now adrenaline. Oops. Getting accuracy down makes a lot of sense here. And that brings us some blunt next turn. It's a trade-off, right, between the kunai and the slow, as far as what order to play what things. Stab in the mix here with Pen Nib. Very good. Is this just lethal? Indeed. Alright. Fair enough. Bag of marbles. Alright. So we get that free vulnerable up front on everybody. That plays very well with the bottled. Ooh, regen potion. Better than smoke bomb, probably. Better than swift potion? We might still. No, we're pretty much done with Smoke Bomb viability. Alright, so there's that. Acrobatics Plus. Probably not. We're down to just the four basic cards. They're all upgraded. Well. Alright. What's the worst that happens? We just... Second Caltrops plus. <laughs> Alright, I think we can go for it. Uh, with the card draw we have, this isn't actually that bad. We do have another shop coming up. Oh, but we're not going to have the money for it anyways. Never mind. Alright. I'm just losing max HP. We can afford it. Okay, where does that leave us as far as upgrades? Alright. Time eater time. Wow, that's a heck of a first turn. We're probably going to play 12 cards here. Oh, whoops. He was already vulnerable. Choke first would have made more sense. We would have gotten more damage. Okay, my mistake. Alright, can we get some pendant value here? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nope. That's unfortunate. There's Kunai 1. And there's... Nine, ten. That's not good. Do we draw? We have five cards that cost zero. So one in five chance. No. <sighs> it's a bad setup, but... That's what the first hand gave us, basically. Okay, we don't have a choice but to do block cards here, because we can only get to play two cards. Hmm. 
Not good. We have no black here. Alright, we do have to play one card to make room in our hand for adrenaline. So let's do that. Now we have some black. Um, let's spend this turn setting up from here. Could do this. full block in the process. Not bad. I can play five cards next turn. He's still attacking. I can't believe it. I really want to play Leg Sweep here, but uh, we have to play five cards. Oh, wait. No, that's not true. Okay, we don't have much of a choice here as far as that goes. Hands getting clogged and whatnot, but we need to be able to... Yeah, I'm waiting for him to have a turn where he's not attacking us. I don't think that's an unrealistic expectation. <laughs> he's still attacking us. <laughs> okay. Well, we get three cards, so that works. We'll do that and that. I think I have to do this because of the strength plus that he gets from, uh, excuse me, it looks like two strength plus because I'm pretty sure after the malaise he was at minus one strength. Finally, a turn where he's not attacking. We can actually spend setting up. Okay. Um, there. Now we go. All right. We can play five cards next turn. Okay. Now we're in good shape. We're just about fully set up. Now it's all about just triggering the end of that. Alright. Hey, cool. We actually needed to block this turn. Now we can get in there. Oh, yes. We can probably play 12 cards this turn. Oh, yeah, we need to obey Pen Neb. What's our hardest hitter? Actually, Shiv's at this point. Okay. that when he was doing the clearing. Yeah, didn't have much choice though. Oh wait. Oh, he didn't clear. He didn't clear. Uh oh, okay. Okay, let's see here. That's it. We won. Whew. 
That's nice. He didn't get a chance to do the clear and heal. Made things go a little easier there. Wow. So that's going to do it for Act 3. Thank you guys very much for joining me. Hopefully it was enjoyable for you. I would also appreciate any comments you might leave down below, and I will see you in the final act. Take care.